Hashtag as always is Y in the morning. Head over there to Twitter at Ramagugo at Y254 channel. Make sure that you drop us your tweet as we continue with this conversation this morning. I'm already seeing a tweet, uh, a tweet coming in already by Eunice uh, uh, Gidomori. Uh, Mama Yao, Anasema is tuned in on Twitter. Thank you very much, uh, Eunice. Uh, so much, uh, uh, you know, uh, is expected from you. Make sure that tell us also where you're watching us from. On Facebook, we've posted a question in regards to our elected leaders. Last week, we had by elections that took place here in the country, and we posed the question today if leaders we elect are not doing enough, then what kind of leaders should we elect come 2022? I'm seeing so many comments there. Let me just sample but a few. John Amuko Mukoya, Nasema in Kenya, we don't have leaders but politicians. Walter Delokuma Nasema, these politicians are all the same. They will pretend to, we vote for them. After that, they have the seats. They don't care about this, they, about their people. All they care about is how they will enrich themselves. As for them, these people are all the same. One and uh, I, I just vote because it's my right. But there's no hope I have for the people I vote for. Interesting view there. Ronnie and Asuma, Kenyan politics is a game that many know the rules, but few know the game. Kenyans elect, whereas the system has already chosen. All right. That's, those are just some of the few comments that I'm seeing here. So many, so many tweets, so many comments right here on Facebook. Where Paul, thank you very much. And I said, tuned in. Bay, they actually tuned in from Machakos. Uh, thank you very much. Maurice Green, Siku Easy, when you vote for a leader, you end up losing the leader and the vote. Interesting comment there. Tell us your, 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 your thoughts. The conversation is already hot online. Make sure that you are part of it. Ara at Ramaluko at Y254 channel on Twitter. The hashtag Y in the morning. Let's start. Uh, gentlemen, <coughs> Kimilini, member of parliament, Didmas Baraza says he's taking a break. Is that even something that should happen? Taking a break from Tanga Tanga? Is it, is, is, is it binding in any way, uh, Mwangi? Uh, Ram, thank you. Before putting my weight on uh, Didmas Baraza, mm -hmm. reaching the Tanga Tanga of the UDA function of uh, the political wing, I would like to put it that uh, the Tanga Tanga of the UDA is mm -hmm. just a political wing that is up to connive Kenyans. It has no good in unifying Kenyans. It's, uh, it's like the, the dangling proverbial carrot to keep uh, some politician busy running up and, da and down, forgetting their communities, forgetting where they come from. Hmm. And uh, it's good that Didmas Baraza came to realize this earlier. And he decided to take a sabbatical leave of four months, which, of which it's not only a sabbatical leave, it's leaving the, the wing and concentrating uh, from the area that he comes from. <laughs> it is uniting the, his, 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 his community. You're saying he's, this is not just a leave, it's a complete it's not, move it's, out of... Yeah, it, it's a complete move. In politics, we don't have a, a leave. This is not like a, the maternity leave that after, after, after going up, then you'll be back. <laughs> it's a leave. It's completely moving out. It's a complete exodus from you. Yeah. Leave. His loyalty now from the, from the Tangatanga Tanga Tanga side, it's over. He wants to unite his, uh, his community. And that's what is required. So you're saying that UDA is more divisive? UDA is more divisive. Those are selfish interests. A few club, a few politicians, a few clique of politicians are up there. It, it's a bargaining tool. The the function is used for, for, for bargaining. Uh -huh. Kirago, do you agree with him? Well, uh, I, I must agree with some of the aspects that he has said that. Some? Uh, some hmm. part of the aspect. But again, uh, did Mas Baraza uh, coming out and saying that he has taken a sabbatical leave uh, from the heated political arena mm. and uh, he's now concentrating uh, to do work for the people of Kimilili. And again, uh, politics is a game of interest and uh, through this we can give, we can be given an eye opener and a signal that Didmas Baraza has options and has certain interests come 2022. And now, on the drawing board, he's trying now to bring other people into place. He has talked about talking with Mukise Kitui, uh, Moses Wetangula, uh, Musale Mudavadi, in a nutshell, all those leaders from the Western region. And again, so this tells us that uh, Didmas Baraza 
has certain interests come to the two, and he's going to announce those interests maybe later on. It's I also, I'd like to, to put weight on that, mm. it's also interesting that this comes after the, the Kabuchai and the Matunga by election. That uh, we had um, yeah, Musella Mudavidi's party winning, winning he came out strong. Yeah, and uh, the Tangula's party mm. for the Kenya. Mm -hmm. So with that, uh, I think Didmas came to realize that uh, these are, this party is not up uh, winning. Only a few individuals are benefiting. So it's better uniting his community. If, 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 if you look at what he said, he said that this is not a leave but a complete excess from UDA. Do you agree that he is actually leaving completely UDA? But according to Didimus Baraza, and I quote, he said, I have left Tanga. Uh, he said that from today henceforth I am going for a four month leave sabbat sabbatical. It doesn't mean that I have left Tanga Tanga. During my off, I will engage various leaders in Luya land so that we will speak in one voice. He has said, it doesn't mean I have left Tanga Tanga. Then he didn't, ha he didn't have to publish all that. He didn't have, have to call the media and, uh, and make all those statements. It was just simple. He would have gone quiet, hmm. and then that would be a leave. But making such statements means that there is something uh, going on. Well, Ram, uh, politics is dynamic, and we must accept the dynamics of politics in that as leaders, they have to change from party to party mm. they have to change from ideology to ideology mm. for the common interests of the people and again uh, we must allow didmas baraza to live up to what he's doing I, I, this is politics he must shift to where he, he feels it's better the for him is, and the people so, so he is shifting that's a signal. Uh, an MP coming out and saying that he's taking a sabbatical leave from heated political political scene. Mm. I think that gives us a signal that uh, Moshimua did Masbaraza might soon leave the uh, Tanga Tanga faction. What if he doesn't? Well, <laughs> what if he what if he comes back? Uh, continues with Takatana with UDA. At this point, I think Didmas is much concentrated with un uniting the Western region. And the I Western quote, region is, uh, they are pulling the rug under the, 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 the Tangatanga's feet. They don't want to support a, a failing government. They want to be part of the government come 2022. So Didmas must, must be wise. He's, a, he's, a young, he's among the young parliamentarians. Mm. So I think with me, Didmas has seen the light. And he's moving to the better place. <laughs> you have seen what light. <laughs> you have seen the light. All right. Uh, let me quote what he said. I will be consulting with various stakeholders and like minded leaders in the Luya nation. I am keen to reconcile factions within the community, and I'd like to take note of that. Uniting. Lu uh, you know, uh, stakeholders in the Luya nations keen to recognize factions within the community so that we try and move in one direction. Point two, one direction. We have all, always been divided as a community and that never gets, uh, you know, to benefit. Now, when you talk about the Luya nation, is it possible for them to vote as one block and be united and number two, he mentioned moving in one direction, considering that they have different political parties with different ideologies. Can they move in one direction? It's interesting that uh, Didmas has seen that uh, after the after the Matungu by election and uh, whereby we had even ODM candidates. Mm. Previously, ODM used to dominate the Western region. But with the by-election, it has shown them uh, the direction. So with this coming up, I think the Western region have realized their uh, the, uh, power. And uh, speaking in one voice, they can make wonders. They can even take the presidential seat. They have the numbers. Something you, which party? The Western region. Let's talk about the Western region as a block. The Western region, if they unite, hmm. If they unite, they will. They, they they can take even the presidential seat. They have the numbers. They have the numbers. They have the numbers. All they need <coughs> is uniting. And the, and, and the question and is, that's is, what they are. And that's that what possible? they are up to. 
what it they are doing it they are doing it we have Didmas Didmas have shown uh, the direction but the question Musaida, is they, they are talking about uniting his sabbatical leave does it have any big impact on the unity of of, of Luya nation of the Mulemba nation uh, 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 well uh, Ram uh, I must say that history has it that the Luya nation for long has been divided mm -hmm. they have no political stand as one and uh, what Didmas Baraza is trying to say is that he's going to seek out and bring all leaders to the table so that they can speak in one common voice so that they can have unity of purpose and uh, so that they can maybe bring up a presidential candidate and i think uh, if the western region or rather the mulembe nation the luya nation stood with one voice and uh, i think they would bring up a candidate and they would bring the presidency home it's possible. It's possible. possible. And, and, and this, this is a question you were having earlier on during the new super review segment. And, we, uh, and, and you're saying Honorable Mustafa Mudavid has the presidential face. And the rest don't. Except, uh, uh, no, you, you didn't give it, you, you only said Honorable Mustafa Mudavid. Yeah. Uh, do you agree? I believe you heard when you're sitting there no. what he said. Do you agree no. with, with that sentiment, I considering Mudavid and other political leaders in the Luya nation? I think uh, with political face in quotes, political face means that politically, Mudavadi is mature. Presidential face. Is it presidential face? A presidential face. He has the, <laughs> he, he, he has the presidential uh, character. Uh -huh. Politically, he is mature. He is up to the task. Mudavadi? Mudavadi is up to the task. Wetangula? Wetangula is a bit, he is not. Oparaja? Oparanya is a, is a good governor. There is a... Uh, who did this did was talk to? Mkisa uh, Kitui. Mkisa yes. Kitui. Kitui. Mkisa Kitui has been a diplomat for long. He can, he can, he can make a good uh, CS, cabinet secretary. <laughs> uh, Luya Nation has been divided, yes, and uh, that is uh, the fact of the ground. Considering the fact that uh, Honorable Mudavadi uh, has formed a pact with uh, you know other leaders like uh, you know Honorable uh, Gideon Moy uh, and uh, Honorable Kalonzo Musioka, can that affect the Mulembe Nation uh, Unity Pact? Well, uh, I must say that uh, in politics, it's interest for the people, and uh, as a leader, you must look at the bigger picture and what you bring to the table and what is best for the people. Mm. And again, it's a poll uh, for the leaders, uh, especially uh, as we are talking about the, those in the Luya Nation. It's up to him to look out to other leaders from the regions who will bring prosperity to the people, who will bring out a unity of purpose and they can form a good government for the people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, your thought on that? Would have a form your pact with other leaders from other regions? Can it affect the Luya region? Uh, first and foremost is the Luya to unite. Once they unite, they have the numbers. Once they unite, they need other tribes or other communities to top, top up to their, uh, to their numbers. Mm -hmm. With that, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll give the best. And uh, this what's happen uh, politically. Yeah, forming, forming, uh, uniting up, coming up with parties, forming coalitions. So uh, Mudavadi uniting with uh, Gideon or Kalonzo, he's trying to find support from other regions, of which it's understandable and it's required for him to to make it to president. There, there are some who say that uh, you know there have been problems within uh, UDA and uh, within DP it was in a circle after the UDA party, which. Uh, you know they have been associated with the, uh, you know people like um, Didmas Baraza being associated to UDA that they are facing a, a tough time considering that that uh, you know they lost heavily in the violations in the two constituencies in uh, in, in in western region uh, you know you know we're talking about Matungu and uh, uh, you know the, so the party also failed miserably in a bid to capture the central seat in Machakos so if we are looking at the losses that UDA is uh, encountering in all these by-elections. Is it forming a, a, you know, a factions within itself, within UDA party? Hence, people like Nidbas Baraza taking leaves. 
Well, I, I must say, Ram, that uh, these people from uh, UDA, they must embrace the beauty of, dem of uh, democracy in that they accept the results. Mm. And uh, they're trying, and it's not always that you, you must win always. And they, they must accept the results, or, uh, how they have come out. Mm. And uh, I agree with you that there are some scaffolds within the, U the UDA, maybe pushes here and there from the leaders of the UDA uh, uh, because of losing the seats. But I would advise them, embrace the beauty of democracy, accept the results. You mm. live to try again. Politics is dynamic. You might w lose today and you might win tomorrow. That's mm. how it works. Uh, Ram, let me reiterate on this. UDA is formed by a pact of selfish politicians, selfish individuals who are up to a fishing expedition. They are not up to the community. Fishing for what? Fishing for their own purposes. UDA is for conning Kenyans, a conniving party. It's not unifying. That's why I'm uh, uh, Ram, I'll put it this way. UDA will experience a lot of uh, scaffolds going onward. You, 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 you're saying it, it, let, me, let, let me just pause you there. You're saying it doesn't unify people. Yet I'm lo looking at the Machako senatorial uh, by election, where we had someone like Ngengele from UDA who gathered 19,726 votes. Though it is 15% of, 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 of everything. Leave alone Machakos. 19,000 plus uh, other counties where we had by elections where we had over uh, you know 10,000 you know 15,000 people all these cumulatively are they not united people Ram live alone the Machakos by election we had the London ward where UDA won the seat yes despite winning that seat was it worth you spending millions for an MCA seat it was a fishing expedition MPs were, were gathering at, uh, at Nakuru London just for an MCA seat they are fishing they are selfish uh, politicians. If it were you who was vying for that, you are, you are going to vie for an, um, an MCA seat yeah. come 2022. Mm. Which, in which area? Gadara Ward. Gadara Ward. Kinangop constituency. Kinangop constituency. Yeah. If that was you vying for, would, wouldn't you want such kind of support from <coughs> your party? As a person, first of all, I'll have community's interest at first. Mm -hmm. Before putting my interest second, before putting my interest, I'll have community's interest. If the party is not up go for good with the community, I'll ditch that party. I better, I better, I did it. I, I vied uh, independent. I was an independent candidate. Mm. The previous I, elections? Yeah, the previous election 2017. Mm. Will you be an independent candidate this coming elections? If I'll not find a party that will align my, that will align my policies with, then I'm, I'm better off uh, vying independent. Well, uh, I've noted that my brother here, Mwangi, is uh, kind of bitter with uh, the UDA, <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, I must also tell him that the Constitution enshrines that any person has the capability to, for, to come out and form a political party mm. and start working, uh, working it out all over the country. Uh, and also, again, UDA is a new baby, so I think we must give it time. You can't give a toddler githeri. Mm. You must That's allow it to grow small by step, mm. gradually. Mm. Uh, uh, and I think let me <laughs> let me they, might, they might win. Uh, we, we, we are giving you the so much expectations just because it's aligned to the deputy president. Yet it's a new party. It's a new party in the political scene. Well, we are giving it so much expectations. This, uh, let, let us give it time to grow gradually and gradually. Maybe you, don't, you never know that UDA will form the next government come 2022. <laughs> <laughs> UDA, UDA being a new party, but the players are the same. The likes of Mudama have been there in, for decades. Uh, the DP. So you, you cannot use the baseline of uh, it's a new party. No. Same drivers. Same drivers. Same, uh, uh, same strip, different cars. Yeah. <laughs> That's the point. That's the point. If we are to look at them, let's look at Machakos uh, for, 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 for Mudama. We had Mandeleo Chap Chap, Mandeleo Chap, Chap leader, Mutu, uh, you know, who, who, that, that is Governor Mutua, who uh, withdrew his candidate, that is Mutua Mutuku, from the race a day before the voting. 
So uh, observers say that uh, Katuku's withdrawal may have partly been responsible uh, for the low voter turnout. Do we have such kind of, uh, uh, you know, an influence for a party like UDA, such that one candidate, uh, you know, um, the, the, the UDA's, uh, uh, you know, voter turnout had some influence from, you know, other parties or other quarters? Well, uh, Ram, I must say that UDA has never been predominant in the Machakos region. You remember Machakos uh, under the Kamba region, the dominant party has been Kalonzo, uh, Kalonzo Musioka Wiper. Wiper. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, that's the story, that's the facts, and we must look at the <coughs> sorry realities. Mm -hmm. And uh, first shot, they lost. Maybe second shot, they win. So we must. Allow you have a lot of faith in, in India. You, you keep saying that they may win, they may be in government, they may get the presidency, they may win, they may win first shot, second shot. Why do you have so much faith in UDA? I think politics is about faith, and uh, we must wish well for not only our, uh, ourselves, also our competitors. That's how um, democracy works. We must bring all the people to the table and uh, work as one. All right. Yeah. I would like us to conclude with this uh, d discussion. Uh, today, KCP East begins. We are having, uh, you know, uh, mathematics uh, coming up today, English language and uh, composition. What are your thoughts in regards to this? The COVID-19 measures that have been put set in place uh, during examination period, like uh, the KCP and the KCC that we are facing right now. First and foremost, I'd like to to give my best of wishes to candidates across the country who are sitting for the examinations, despite that uh, we have lost almost the whole of uh, academic year mm. fighting the global pandemic. It's unfortunate, but we have to fight it. Uh, COVID being, uh, being the, the, the case as for now, it's uh, it's up to the government to put those regulations, strict measures. Which they have. Which they have put. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, I would like to, to congratulate the, the CS for Education, Magoha. Mm -hmm. He assured that even if, even if the, your parent, the parents relocated to other areas, those, to, those students or pupils will have to sit for the examinations. So I think uh, the country, the government has, uh, has tried in combating the COVID-19 uh, COVID and having examinations. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Your thoughts in regards to these uh, examinations? I remember you echoed uh, uh, your voice earlier on. Well, uh, I'll, I'll wish uh, the pupils and students who are starting off their examinations today, wish them well and good luck. And I must say that education is crucial in society. Mm. With education, that's how we build society and the country at large. And again, I must say that I must also congratulate the government in line with the Ministry of Health and also the Ministry of Education for ensuring that our young people are able to do these exams in a conducive environment despite the pandemic, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. Mm -hmm. And I think I wish them well, good luck, and success in your exams. Uh, let's look at this pandemic. Are Kenyans taking it seriously? We are looking at uh, in the results that uh, we are seeing, increased number of cases of COVID-19 infections. We are looking at the weekend where we had a high turn up of people in different you know, uh, public uh, gatherings. We have uh, restaurants, pubs, clubs, uh, churches. Do people take it seriously, these COVID-19 guidelines? And do we, should we expect to see uh, you know, this reflect also during this time of KCPE and KCSE? After the second wave of uh, COVID, which we almost, uh, which, uh, we almost uh, came through, people, I think the, the, measures, uh, were a bit, uh, the measures were a bit soft to people. And that's where the that's where people now began be, became neglecting the the, the measures and the regulation that were put in place, mm -hmm. wearing masks. Even the political class used to gather rallies mm -hmm. without even observing those uh, rules. So I think this where the third wave is hitting hard because we neglected the 
the, the rules and regulation to, to, to combat the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chirago, um, how can we solve this problem and reduce the cases or the number of infections that we have for the COVID-19? How do we flatten this gap, the, the, the curve? Well, Ram, we must call a spade a spade. Mm -hmm. uh, Kenyans are very assumptuous individuals uh, looking at the start of, of the pandemic. People are very keen and they very adhered to the regulations of uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. But again, looking at the third wave is here, and uh, the government, in line with the Ministry of Health, gave out strict measures to be able to contain this virus. We see that these people are not adhering to the regulations. And all I ask them that we must have unity of purpose mm -hmm. so that we can be able to contain this virus of COVID-19 and mm -hmm. we, we go back to business as usual. Right. You're vying for which, which seat uh, uh, for 2022? Well, Ram, I'm vying for Member of Parliament, Kipipiri constituency, Kipipiri. come 2022. Uh -huh. I ask the people of Kipipiri to remain united. We have been stuck in the mud for too long. And I think time is now that we look at better agricultural produce market for our people, better roads for our people, uh, good job markets for our young people. And in a nutshell, mm. we bring development to the people of Kipipiri constituency. You, you, you're con no, you're, constitu you're in the same constituency? No, they're neighboring. They're neighboring constituency. The, they're neighboring. You're yeah. in, uh, and i like to put you uh, on the knowledge that uh, Mr. Kirago, uh. or Mwishmua Kirago, wants to topple the majority leader of this country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My brother. Yeah, mm. that's democracy. <laughs> that's democracy, yeah. yeah. Sure. Uh, you see... And I wish him well. Thank He's you. He's my fellow youth. Uh, and I will support him. You support him? I'll support him. You see, the thing is, Ram, uh, the political space uh, for too long has been seen as a space for experienced people, or rather old men. But again, we must realize that we must bring people to the table so that we represent the interest of people. <laughs> and, 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 and your constituency is uh, it, it never... Uh, uh, mine is Kinangop constituency. Kinangop, okay. And yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going for the member of county assembly. Uh -huh in a word called Gadara word. Gadara I believe in uh, starting there, going upward. Yeah. <laughs> we are better Jusana. <laughs> Agenda Jusana. You, Jusana. <laughs> <laughs> Jusana, I wish you the best. Yeah? Thank As you. So now that you have offered him support, mm. you return the, the, the favor? Of course, I offer my brother full support. Of course, we, we have met with him several yeah. in occasions uh, in uh, our county, considering that Kibipiri and Kinango mm -hmm. by the same county, mm -hmm. matters, youth, interests. Uh -huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. so he's a good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you, Ram. Uh, uh, it, it, it was a pleasure, an interesting discussion, mind uh, yeah, boggling at the same same time. I was with uh, Mwangi Mbugwa, a youth leader, a pure mathematician. From mm -hmm. the University of Nairobi. Just <laughs> Nairobi. <laughs> We have comrades in the building. Comrades. <laughs> uh, he is also an aspiring member of uh, Count Assembly in Kinangop constituency. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Mwangi. Thank you, Ron. And I was also with the Kiragu Muridi, the CEO of Vijana Mbele Foundation. Also vying as, uh, uh, for the member of parliament in Kipipiri constituency. I wish you the best. Thank you, sir. That has been the conversation today on youth and politics the hashtag as always is why in the morning let me just sample a few of your feedback on facebook uh, on what people are saying let me reload that and get to see what you guys are saying on, on our facebook we post a question in regards to the, to the leaders we elect remember some of the leaders we elect are elect are also here with us today if leaders we elect are not doing enough that's a question then what kind of leaders should we uh, elect come 2022 john amuko mukoya uh, you know uh, say that we don't have leaders but politicians uh -huh. maurice green uh, thank you very much maurice for your comments jenkins mwangi wakwaben and asema being a better the devil we know that the angel we don't know mm-hmm Weru Anasema, thank you. Anasema tuned in. Vince Dati Anasema, the same, same thing. The same leaders that you, uh, that we, that are not doing enough are the kind of leaders that we will elect Bado in 2022. 
All right, that is uh, your feedback on uh, Facebook. Keep the conversation going. The hashtag as always, why in the morning at Ramagoko? Let's take a short break. We'll be back in a bit. After this break, I'll be joined by none other than Reverend Lawrence Mbugwa. He is from Emmanuel and uh, Anglican Community Church in Raleigh, in, Cali in North California. Today, we shall have a conversation about alcohol and addiction. Don't go too far.